We are standing on the Oric Mill site, which Save the Redwoods League bought back in 2013, right where Prairie Creek and Redwood Creek come together at the Southern Gateway to Redwood National and State Park. Right here was where the mill that logged and milled the old growth that came off of this forest. Over the next four years, the Oric Mill site is going to be transformed into the Redwood National and State Park's Trails Gateway. It's going to have a brand new point of access for the visiting public to the North Coast Redwoods. And it's going to feature a segment of fully restored Prairie Creek, as well as the Yurok Village site. This site will be a gateway for public access in the future, but it's also a gateway for our salmon and steelhead. This is the first place where they get to enter Prairie Creek. You know, they, they get to swim upstream and find the cold, clean waters that are managed in the watershed by Redwood National and State Parks. So there's great spawning territory up there. And below this site, they encounter three miles of Army Corps levees that virtually cut off all floodplain, all estuary habitat below this site. So it really brings the site into focus for the importance of increasing the beneficial habitat here. I've been to a lot of restoration projects over the years, and this one just feels different. It feels different because really the partnership with the tribes, we're on Yurok tribe ancestral lands, working directly with tribal crews out here. They're doing the work. They're bringing their knowledge to this. It's creating jobs for them. Been traveling up and down 101 on my whole life, right by Prairie Creek. Never thought I'd be in here working equipment, running equipment being part of an all Yurok crew for all the equipment operations that we have as a corporation. is just an awesome, awesome thing to be a part of. The approximate uh, yardage that we had to move out here was about 14,000 yards. And so we, we moved that just in time before the rains came. So we completed that, um, not only the excavation, not only all the earthwork uh, and fine grading, but uh, the placement of large wood for habitat as well as the slash and, and getting it ready for the fish. The poetry of taking this site and removing those acres of pavement uh, and restoring the meander of the salmon stream and then using that place to build a Yurok village site in which visitors can interpret that indigenous culture that has been here for thousands of years is a pretty beautiful opportunity. This project is important for the fish in Prairie Creek because it gives the juvenile fish a place to get out of the high flows during flood events. So juvenile fish will find their way in up this backwater channel. They have the large wood pieces that they can hide under. And when the plants that are being planted right now grow, they drop leaves and they provide the nutrients that combine with the sunlight form the basis of the food web. So what we're doing here is we're providing the really rich floodplain habitat that these juvenile fish need before they make their out migration to the ocean. From an angling and fish activist standpoint, this is such a critically important project. One of the things that Redwood Creek is really lacking is that off-channel rearing habitat. It's got you know beautiful protected headwaters, but the missing critical component is this off-channel floodplain habitat. And so to be able to build that on this property, on the spawning tributary that is critically important. It's closed all year to fishing. This is truly just a refuge for salmon and steelhead for the North Coast. Redwood National and State Parks is all about restoration, and this will be a showcase for having visitors both have access to old growth redwoods on one side and a major world-class restoration project on the other. We started with basically a blank slate of a flat field, and we have come to decide as a team what this is gonna look like, what we think it's gonna look like, and also be adaptive as we move along. I think collaboration has become super important in our efforts to raise enough money to finish this project over the next four years. I don't think we'd be here today without the partnerships with Caltrout and the League and NOAA and NIMPS and our engineers and the Yurok tribe. Working in partnership with, with Redwood Park and all of the other, the other partners to restore this habitat for salmon recovery has been so important and really look forward to the trail system and the interpretation that's going to come in here too and allow the public to see this kind of project and the, and the results in action. We'll be able to see migrating adult fish, rearing juvenile fish. This is really beautiful clear water where the public will 
really be able to get close to that resource. It's going to be cool to be able to bring my children here and say that I helped work on this. We're going to be creating habitat for salmon and steelhead and hopefully bring better numbers to our future generations for our children and our elders. Can't wait to watch it grow, uh, to watch nature recover, uh, to watch the salmon come back uh, and use this floodplain as a rearing habitat and watch the forest come back around it as other restoration projects advance. This is really at the bow wave of a restoration economy for this landscape and a healing of the redwood forest.